Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So, and today I'm gonna be kind of predicting the future of Roblox. So, if you don't know what Roblox is, then Roblox is basically a video game platform where you can create your own games and also play other people's games. And it's probably one of the most popular games in the world, most popular platforms in the world. And it's yeah, it's pretty big. If you haven't even heard it like in your, in your since your entire life started um it's yeah it's pretty big anyway i'm playing it right now so i'm gonna start predicting what might happen and what might be changed future updates and maybe i might do it until like 2030 like predicting what's gonna happen until 2030 so yeah thanks for watching um and let's start it This is user generated catalog. This is made by a user in Roblox, so not actually Roblox. What something that is not um, uh, user generated content, that is not user generated content, is this. The recycled card project. It's made by Roblox themselves, the actual account. So that's basically what. That's basically an example. So what I'm thinking, I think I might have said this again. I forgot, but. I think there might be a UGC access to everyone by maybe late 2022. I hope, because I really want to start doing some hats and stuff like that. It'll be pretty cool. So, um, what else for 2022? Mm. Alright, definitely more new limited items. So, um, Roblox, since after, um, after 2019, they haven't really been, like, big limited items. So Roblox, um, once they last created like big items like the um, Viridian Domino Crown and the Ice Valkyrie in like uh, November 2019, right? Yeah, November 2019. They really stopped creating limited items until the Gucci Gardens of like, 2021 came out with um, a lot of Gucci items. I can't name all of them, and they're still actually creating some Gucci items. They recently just created some, and also event event. Items like Zara Larson and a lot more. They also have limited items and also some other companies like Wiggins, the North Face, and McLaren. McLaren's a car company. Yeah, like cars obviously. It's pretty cool that they're actually starting to create more limited items. But the thing is, these limited items aren't even really that big. Like they're not ex as expensive as like normal, like a lot of Roblox limited items are. Or like um, pop ups headphones and stuff like that. Like there's not that there's not um recently been a limited that has gone up as high as those limited items. Like those limited items are close to a million Robux in value. And stuff like that. So I yeah I think there might be one that might reach a hundred thousand. That's my prediction for that. Alright, so 2023. So, um, 2023, I think there might be a new YouTuber who is um, gaining a lot of popularity. I hope it's me, but I don't think it might be me. Maybe it could be. I could 
Jordan, LeBron, I don't know. We'll see. You know, there might be a new YouTuber that is being talked about everywhere in the Roblox community. And yeah, that's kind of one thing. Another thing is um, UGC Limited Edition. So, as you can tell, I'm kind of a fan of the Limited Edition. So, my like, username is legitimately limited, and my YouTube username is limited. So, yeah, this is a, an example of a limited item. So, um, limited items can only be created by Roblox. They can only be up, um, uploaded on the Roblox official account and none other. So, what this update is, is basically um, adding limited items to um, one of the options you can create for one of your UGC items. And I honestly think um, with everyone having UGC access, Plus limited items, I mean that might obviously be really good. I, that would be a really good update. I'll be I'll add a lot more to the UGC catalog. Also the limited catalog. But I mean some people might uh, upload copies of limited items. Like for example, like a lot of I can name a lot of um, UGC items that have copy limited items. Like the one in 2020, the Naviware Futurist 150X or something like that. I forgot the name. But, and also, like, one of the one Fedora, I think. But, yeah, one Fedora. I forgot the name of the Fedora, but it's also by someone at the BBC catalog thing. On the small valve, which is a Valkyrie item, basically. Of, yeah, a lot of water on the spots. Like recently, the cartoon window items came out. Like maybe like two weeks ago, they were taken down like after a week or two because it looks like exactly, almost exactly like the Clockwork Sequence. So I have something that's similar to the Clockwork Sequence right here, so I can, yeah, I can kind of say it's looks pretty similar. Anyway, yeah, that might be a problem with the limited. Yeah, it might be really, it might be really big when the items go down. Yeah, so. Alright, I think I might um, do one more prediction. Right, so, one more prediction. I think something is going to I think something from Roblox is going to Like, I'm not sure what it could be, but I'm thinking, I'm honestly thinking. Not this shirt, not like the whole shirt, but t-shirts, like let me show you an example. Like, uh, like so I have a shirt here, and then I have a t-shirt, wait, not this, this is a UGC item. But I have a t-shirt here, I don't why I I made this 10 Roblox, 10,000 Roblox, but um, here's a t-shirt here, it's kind of like an image where you can put on your normal t uh, on your normal shirt, or on your just Roblox, basic Roblox avatar, and... Yeah, I mean, there is a use for it, there is a use for it, there's actually a pretty good use for it, so like, if you want to change, or like, you want to change something in your shirt, or just a little bit of the shirt, you don't have to remake the shirt again, I did that personally, because this color was a little bit, didn't match the base headphones, but I did that there, but just so that it can match the Anyway, that might happen, I hope it won't happen, but I'm honestly thinking, because layer clothing, just came out to the public like a few weeks ago or something like that. And honestly, I think Roblox is moving towards like layer clothing and like only layer clothing. Like, yeah, that's probably what they're gonna only use for clothing. I mean, they might just use some normal shoes and stuff like that. They're like, yeah, layer clothing. Alright, so for 2024, hmm, this might be a pretty hard one because I can't really tell what's gonna happen in the, what's gonna happen in like two years. But 2024, uh, so from now to 2024, I'm predicting there might be like seven Roblox concerts, um, Roblox concerts. On top of the seven concerts, there might be three separate events maybe three or four separate events 
like a, a Metroid. I don't think Metroid's gonna be like Metaverse Champions or something like that. But yeah, I think there might be a total of that. Okay, so 2024. Hmm. I don't know. This might be a tough decision because I'm not. I think. Also, I forgot to mention, I think 2022, late, later in 2022, they might, they might add shoes. Because they added layered clothing, shirts, layered shirts, jackets, layered pants, now shoes, I think, so, yeah. Okay, so 2024, um, 2024, I think they might create, like, another, like, really expensive one that they might build. I don't think they'll bring back sales, but like, it might be for like, an event, and maybe a lot of people might like the limited item. So it gets a lot of demand and like, different value reasons. Like, yeah, because of the price of the price reasons, of the price reasons of the and then boom, big limited item. Everyone wants it. Okay, so also for 2024, another big YouTuber might blow up. Roblox might do something. I'm guessing Roblox might change the website layout in 2024 because this website layout has been like here since 20 late 2019, I believe. Yeah. So like the normal Roblox website layout you see usually on Roblox, it might be changed. Like I'm um, from 2022, that might be just changed just slightly, but 2024 there might be a new view to it. I'm not sure how they can improve it more because it's kind of already there's nothing really to change. I mean, I don't know if you this new a layout really nice But yeah, I think they might somehow figure out a way to change it. And yeah, 2024, I think maybe that might happen. I think that might be it for 2024. So maybe 2025. There might be something next that big that might happen. Alright, so 2025. I am thinking 2025 might be a big year for Roblox. I think 2025 might be a big year for Roblox. Because these past years and maybe the coming like future years, I don't think there might be much, much happen happening. But I think Roblox might do something huge. I think, I think, hold on, let me think. Hmm. By 2025, I think Roblox should maybe, I think Roblox might, this is actually a suggestion, but I think Roblox might update the friends list limit and maybe add like a few, like maybe like 15, 20 friends to the maximum friends limit, or maybe make the maximum friends limit 300 instead of the 200, so people can friend more people. I mean, that would honestly be kind of cool, but at the same time, like, confusing some, you might confuse some of your friends with, I mean, not confused, but you might get confused as to who's who, and you might try, might find, you might find it difficult to find what, um, where's a certain friend, because yeah in your friends list because it might that's a lot of friends 300 people that's a lot especially on the roblox account it's friends list or on the roblox account's friends list e also 2025 um a raid might happen or something like that like maybe a certain big youtuber might be the big youtuber who's um who blew up or a few years earlier maybe in 2024 they blew up um there might be a raid like a certain a game and then they might start something like flamingo or something like that like the junk bot raid give oil give oil i i honestly love that but um there might actually be something like that and yeah i think that's it so um i don't have many ideas for from for 2026 and forward until 2020 2030 um so i think this is gonna be it for part one this is gonna be part one part two it will come out next week 
And I really don't want them to make this video like 30, 40 minutes long. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye and enjoy life. And actually comment video ideas as to what as to what like I can add in these um, future things with my the predictions for Roblox because I might I need ideas kinda. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Enjoy life. Stay peaceful. Stay safe. Stay nice. Stay cool. And bye.